So um, I come from Hong Kong. I uh, came to the States in 2014. So right after high school. And then I went to a um, community college in the Bay Area, uh, studying graphic design. And then I moved to LA for, um, I transferred to LA to, to Cal Poly Pomona. And I graduated with a um, graphic design degree in 2019. And then I worked for um, marketing, marketing agency for, for a year. And then I actually um, got back to school to um, study interior architecture because that's something that um, I think, I guess I have been wanting to try out since I was in, like, since I was younger, like, in, um, say, high school. How are you? I am good, how are you? Great, thank you for your asking. I'm doing great. Um, so thank you so much for your time. Today we're going to, uh, um, to have an uh, interview with you to talk about um, your creative work and also I uh, really like the, the, um, one of the work you shared with me. Um, this is already on our backgrounds right now. So uh, we're going to have a more conversation about what kind of project it is. So uh, would you mind use your language to say hello to our audience? Hi, um, I'm Calvin. I'm in Hong Kong. Oh, thank you, thank you. So um, this is Cantonese. So um, um, it's part of one of the dialogue in China. So um, would you mind introduce uh, us, uh, introduce yourself to us, where you are, who, where you come from, and then also what is your major? Okay. So um, I come from Hong Kong. I uh, came to the States in 2014, so right after high school. And then I went to a um, community college in the Bay Area, uh, studying graphic design. And then I moved to LA for, um, I transferred to LA to, to Cal Poly Pomona. And I graduated with a um, graphic design degree in 2019. <laughs> And then I work for um, marketing, marketing agency for, for a year. And then I actually um, got back to school to um, study interior architecture because that's something that um, I think, I guess I have been wanting to try out since I was in, like, since I was younger, like in um, same high school. design or arts or um, creativity starts when I was very little because mm -hmm. I when I look back I actually started drawing when I was like three or four I used to draw cars and um, some floor plans of my dream house and all that and also um, I really like playing Legos and building like toy trains, uh, railroads. So it's kind of like, I'm not sure if it's in my gene or, or what, but I, I started um, doing these, uh, like building things or kind of have some designs here and there. Community college is a good uh, stepping stone if you couldn't get into like four year uh, college right away. <clears throat> And then um, community college is also like a very good environment for you to explore around. Uh, even if you're not sure what major you want to major in, it's good to like meet a different uh, kind of people from, from different areas or different part of the world so that to kind of inspire you or, or even to to give you the big picture of like kind of what do you want in, in college life or even after after you hear about the schools from friends 
mm-hmm. or even like when I'm when I'm in community college, I met some um, people that are old, older than me, and they mm-hmm. talk about where they want to transfer to. So it's kind of like connections. Um, so yeah, I heard about Cal Poly mm-hmm. first. Um, it's not the 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 one in Pomona actually. I heard about the San Luis Obispo one in mm. um, Middle California. So um, I I wanted to get into that one <laughs> at first, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but then um, for some reason they rejected me <laughs> very quickly. But um, I also applied to this Cal Poly when I was applying to. To, to mm-hmm. the, uh, the other one, so kind right. of um, also because of research, I know that um, Cal Poly is good at um, architecture and mm-hmm. engineering and all that. And also, I also applied to Long Beach, Cal State Long Beach, San Jose mm-hmm. State, and um, yeah, I feel like um, states states you are. Um, better at like designs and more hands-on. When you first started your education in the United States, uh, what kind of challenges you encountered before? So language is definitely the, the first thing that comes to mind. Mm-hmm. Um, when I first came to the state, I thought uh, my English could... English, you know, because in Hong Kong, people have English education, like mm-hmm. compulsory, since we were like the age of three. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I think um, most of us know English, but then when you really uh, talk to people here, um, really communicate in their uh, style or, or culture, it's really a different experience. There are a lot of slangs or um, the way they speak is just different from what we learned on the textbooks, mm-hmm. like as a language wise, because personally, I feel like I learned English in a very um, strict way or it's we talk, we speak English just like we're speaking, we are reading from our textbooks when mm-hmm. we are in Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. So when we came here, it's it's kind of weird for them to hear our English. Mm-hmm. So um, this is definitely something we have to adjust or we, ha- we need to take time to learn like mm-hmm. the culture, how they really speak naturally mm-hmm. um, and um, the slangs or yeah, even even yeah, when you when you know that there's a um, difference, you kind of scared off by that. Mm-hmm. So it's also you have to build build up your confidence on speaking. Because maybe when we were younger, our you know my our parents took care of us uh, financially, and then we we first um, get out of our like hometown to just we have to be financially depend uh, independent kind of. Although my parents give me like uh, spendings I have to like um, organize or take care take care of that chunk of money myself there are a lot of decision makings first at first but um I think this is definitely something for us to learn or to grow because yeah, you know, finance is very important <laughs> throughout life. So, mm-hmm. but for me personally, it's something that uh, I have to, I had to learn and to, I struggled a little bit at first. Yeah, but it's a, it's a personal growth. Other for international students because we have uh, a time limit in looking mm-hmm. for for a job. So this is the main, this was the main concern I had when I first mm-hmm. like, and when I was looking for a job. But um, I think preparations or like your, like 
getting your portfolio out there is very important when especially when you first uh, graduated mm -hmm. um, um yeah i had my portfolio website um uploaded and then i just kept sending resumes right but then mm -hmm. also um yeah it's just i think the main concern is is the time limit it also gives me gave me pleasure like mm -hmm. when every day passed by i was like oh what if there's no uh, employer uh, uh, hiring me mm -hmm. all that but everything actually works out after all i had um i had an offer and then yeah i think i think it's fine but if what what's what i wish i could go back to change was to um look for internship earlier and mm. to you know just get get yourself with experience mm. so that uh you know companies would 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 prefer that would prefer you have more or more experience it's called coffee connects it is a branding and packaging design um project so actually um i always wanted to create a coffee brand because i i like coffee i, I like the um, coffee um coffee brand branding vibes you could say because there are a lot of amazing brands out there so um this is what i created i created the coffee brand called coffee connects so the main um purpose of this brand is to connect people connect um people who love coffee um i also um think about this brand um you also connect people who love adventures like taking adventures um especially like like traveling so i can imagine this brand it's in the coffee shop could be in um uh, a rural area like where the national parks are um, i'm personally a lover of national parks as well mm -hmm. so um this brand is kind of like a brand of mixing of coffee and also um, um adventure so mm -hmm. people who go travel or to go uh, backpacking um that's the target audience I'm going for. So um, I would like to like connect people who travels because I believe that everyone, uh, especially those who travel, have a um, story behind them. Mm -hmm. Different people have a uh, different stories. So um, through coffee, I think it's a good way to connect different people to share about their stories. So this is this was how the brand came out and then as you can see these are the packagings that i have designed on the left there are three uh coffee bean bags and then two pots and uh this one is actually a, a package for chocolate balls so i really had a great time in designing all these um, these paper bags were actually mm -hmm. printed by myself and and i mm -hmm. i folded them one one by one mm -hmm. and yeah this cup sleeves design was also um a little touch to you know people might get get burned by by the mm -hmm. you know the cup because it's too hot so it's it's good to like create a handle for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the design process and the you know the, the um, uh, color scheme for this is going for earthy tones that matches the um, you know the mountains and the adventure national parks mm -hmm. kind of theme. So that to to be um, yeah, it's like. Um, going for that that direction. The gallery design, um, mainly there are um, the clients want um, a 
pretty big space to be honest. It's a 16,000 square feet. Uh, mainly they're consisting of three main uh, area like for for exhibitions and also there are like a lounge area and a gift shop area so I am going for um, um, Scandinavian style of architecture it is like um, very cozy and kind of connects to the nature kind of style um, for most part of the welcoming part or the lounge area or gift shop part there are a lot of um, usage of wood as a wall texture um, also as you can see on this photo there's a hanging fireplace that creates a cozy feeling for people like um, when you come here it's kind of like very welcoming and it's a relaxing place for you to to, to enjoy this space and um, yeah and, um, also the the chair right here in, in this image is where I what I used for the lounge area it is very laid back um, a lot of wood texture as well um, yeah mainly mainly this is a uh, very cozy kind of gallery And also another main idea for this project is using light fixtures and drop down ceilings to create uh, different uh, themes or atmosphere for, for those three main gallery space. Um, in my project, I used a contour uh, lighting design that um, creates that kind of um, um, it, it one connects to the nature because of the contour lines that uh, um, that is widely used in in, in maps. Um, it kind of reminds people of oh, uh, we're in the nature, we're in the uh, in the woods, you know. And then it's also um, a good way to guide people. Um, in the gallery is it because the, the the contour is kind of like a circle so this is also um, one of the main idea on how to drive people uh, on in terms of the circulations hmm. and then also on the right you can see this rainbow um, um, kind of art, art installation where there is actually a skylight in above that gives you like the like a Jesus shine down down into the gallery that gives you um, a wonderful like a rainbow uh, kind of lighting effects um, that could um, yeah gives the also like brings bringing the outdoor into the indoors right uh, bringing the uh, kind of the nature theme to to the indoors for some part of the gallery um, especially for the tv room there is a, a drop down ceiling that using wood slats um, that actually kind of uh, divide the, the areas so telling people that this is where um, uh, the tv showroom is and you can kind of uh, because of the dropping down ceiling that makes people focusing on, on what's going on in the room instead of um, uh, keeping distracted by other things. So these are the elements that I went for for, for this um, to, to mainly to divide the, the areas. Um, also some lightings of the photos are shown like for, for other parts, like the smaller parts like this is for the restroom, this is for, for the conference room. Mm -hmm. So I can walk you through my hand drawings. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. This is the, the, the gallery space. So mainly three, uh, one, two, and three gallery space. And in front, there are the cozy 
where the woods textures are. This is the gift shop and this is the lounge area. Mm. Yep. And this plan shows more on the what's going on the, in the ceiling. So uh, mm. as I mentioned about the contour lightings and then also the other lightings like the mm. um, um, this is actually the skylights that where the rainbow installation uh, is and these are the wood slats that divide the areas um, and then in the front the ceiling is also lowered also using the wood textures and also mm -hmm. um, the skylights here you might remember in previous um, the, the one of the images um, where the black trimmed windows are mm -hmm. so yep wow so the lighting i could also show you work, some the lighting picture worked very well um, on your interior space is to kind of create a different um, uh, characteristic between different type of gallery and can you share a little bit about the yeah. sections that's just very cool i can see um there in uh a lot of exciting uh, design element inside each space. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So that's basically my gallery, and this is like a three D or cinematic view of that, where the contour is, where the book story is. And then also the wood slats and the rainbow. Oh, wow, you, you, you do it by hand? Yeah, this is one of the classes that require hand drawing. <laughs> oh, that, that's so cool. <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm gonna render it in computer maybe mm -hmm. sometime next month. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, gotcha. And so yeah let's move on <laughs> yes so before i go to the second project um this mm -hmm. is something fun that i want to share this is uh i combine my graphic design skills as well as some concepts that i freshly freshly learned from from my program mm -hmm. so this is like uh i imagine if i have to create um uh pendant seal like uh, an, art, an, art, an art installation um hanging down from the ceiling what it would mm -hmm. be so i went for like very abstract uh conceptual um uh, theme mm -hmm. i i actually put together very different things like to to combine them to see what happened so there is this kind of like a cheesy or like a sticky gummy thing that hanging down with mm -hmm. um, actually things that I like most. Like you can see maybe a, a, a shape of a car body and then there is some um, uh, trees and woods. Also some random boxes like it's the adventure style. This, um, to, to, to package this thing. It is also like um, I have inspiration from theme parks. When you go to Disneyland or some other theme parks, there might be, um, there are a lot of, there are always a lot of decorations and, and uh, uh, a lot of elements in designs, right? So mm -hmm. I kind of put together like, uh, just like how a theme park would like, putting waterfalls or boxes together. So this is kind of like a concept of how the, the, the hanging elements would be. And yeah, I, I had fun on this one. So it's kind of like combining, combining some graphic skills and sense of space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you want to move on? Sure, yeah. So 
Another project is called the Fireman's Loft. It's basically a loft, a two-story high loft, um, for 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 a uh, cinematographer in Canada. So the client is a cinematographer. He he uh, works with cameras. He he shoot videos for his clients, but the main um, program that he wants a living area kitchen library and then he has some mentioning this is like the second story high mm -hmm. it's maybe half or one third of the area of the loft mm -hmm. so for this project i'm going for like the industrial uh looking feel that have like uh, there are a lot of um um designs out there are always uh, making the the area look like a shipping container mm. also um using very raw materials like the um, these metals frames and also these um construction materials but at the same time i also want to make the home very cozy right so there are always wood um on um, lounge chairs and all that yeah also this is a hammock that's um on the second story mm -hmm. so that you can have the coziness and also have fun if you have children you can mm -hmm. you know see through from 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 above mm -hmm. more more pictures showing the shipping container and then also this is the kitchen area um, I go for. There are a lot of um, wood textures and um, mainly the color theme is black and, and, and wood. Yeah. Yep. And as you can see, there are a lot of wood areas that, um, to create that coziness. And then also um, there is a sunken area in the living room that mm. kind of like two steps below that makes it extra cozy. Mm. And then also the hammock right here is where the fun part is. And I can show you more here. So as I said, there's a construction or industrial uh, vibe here with the metal um, columns. And also on the wall texture, there's like this um, uh, peeling concrete and showing the bricks kind of uh, wall materials. To, to bring the whole whole house with the same same atmosphere. What's interesting here is like um, uh, is there's a story behind <laughs> this structure. So the client told us that one day he drove his car, uh, he was rushing home and then he crashed his garage garage wall. So this was what happened when, like, he put a, a, a bookshelf behind the, the wall. He crashes through, and then the bookshelves fly out. All the books fly out. So I was like, "Oh, this is interesting." So let us recreate that scene and stop the time. So we created a bookshelf. It's actually um, broken in the middle and with mm. all the books flying out this uh, in art installation like hanging down mm. and other than like an art it could also be like you can hang whatever book you want and then kind of stand and read, mm. <laughs> read go to cal poly and then you're also taking class in ucl extension uh in each school they should have different tradition um Oh, it's yeah. very unique so can you share with us what is your uh, favorite college tradition hmm. 
Um, I, I I think I would be biased to Cal Poly Pomona. <laughs> uh -huh, well, sure. there, there, there are reason there are reason behind it because actually when I started uh, at UCLA Extension, it was all because it was in the pandemic, right? So it was mm -hmm. all online. So I didn't really get to uh, have a lot of experience of face to face, or even mm -hmm. I didn't walk into the campus at all. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's the reason. But then yeah, I think UCLA extensions. Uh, the, the tradition behind it is um, the professors are really professional. They are from the field. They are working as like architects or interior designers, uh, the designer already. So there's like this. I really enjoy the conversation between me and my professor because he's really like a mentor instead of a teacher so he really teaches us how to think in uh, through design so that's something that i enjoy but cal poly in pomona um this like it's really like a college life right you walk into the campus people are chilling and you have friends and yeah we also work in the same building like work for classes in the same building so yeah sometimes we we are chilling in the lounge room and then waiting for the next class we're all talking about like oh this professor is blah 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 and how our homework are going so that's that's something i i, I really enjoyed yeah maybe because i also worked for one year after before mm -hmm. i went to ucla so mm -hmm. definitely it's also because my life stage changing so i i i, I would uh, actually uh, like capoli pomona more for its college life oh got you so um also i know that you study multiple disciplines you study graphic design branding design and also i see some of the like the uh, ui ux and then you transition to uh interior design so would you mind share with us uh, uh we a designer uh architect or uh who has three different um uh, uh, expert, you know, uh, their work is more inspired in your know, in your design right now. Okay. Um, for graphic design wise, I personally like Andy Warhol. Well, I think it's a very mainstream artist. But for now, like recently, I really got inspired by his. Um, by his work because they're very colorful, they're very creative. Um, um, yeah, when I was thinking about interior design, mm -hmm. um, especially when the you know when the pandemic uh, is here, people started to stay at home more. They stay at home more, so they need something. They need some attention to uh, you know to look at or or they are gonna spend their their life in in their homes and then i was thinking oh maybe the design trend is gone the the previous like very simplistic um minimalistic design trend is, uh, is actually going away people need some maybe more paintings or more fun stuff like how andy warhol uh, creates his mm -hmm. to get their intention uh at home so this is he's one of the um inspirations come uh for for now and then maybe it's for architecture i um like tom kundik's work he's an architect um he has this um he has a lot of wood texture i can say um and i i really personally uh, enjoy wood so mm -hmm. yeah some of the inspiration will come from him for my lofts design and actually gallery design as well mm -hmm. so tom kundik is is someone that i admire 
um, as like an architect. All right. So you, you sh- uh, okay, great, great. So um, also, I know that um, maybe a lot of people from from your hometown they try uh, they want to study abroad. And what is your advice for for the uh, for the people from Hong Kong? Mm-hmm. Is this is this specifically in design or just uh, uh, education? Yeah, for they can uh, continue their uh, uh, education in the United States. Okay, I think for people from Hong Kong, um, I would suggest them to keep an open mind because. Mm-hmm. Um, when you go out uh, to the world, it's really uh, you could experience a lot of different cultures. Um, the try to accept, um, not to accept, try to experience uh, different cultures instead of like mm-hmm. staying with your own, or keeping your own. Try to open up and explore because mm-hmm. that's how. How you? Uh, um, this is. I think that's that's an important thing of life, right? <laughs> to to yeah. try try to get to know more, to and also have fun, right? Mm-hmm. Try to be positive. Try to have fun. Try to explore, um, because that's the time for us to 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 do these things when you're fresh out of high school. Yeah. After that, mm-hmm. you might not have that. Kind of luxuries. <laughs> That's very true. So uh, I know that you have a, a lot of different uh, interesting designs. So with uh, with the people want to contact you, want to uh, have more conversation with your work, how they can uh, contact you? Yes. So I have my website. It's called Donuts for Life. Not design. Mm-hmm. So it's donuts, D-O-N-U-T-S, and then four is the number four, and then life, I-L-I-F-E, dot design. Mm. That's where you can find me and all that uh, Instagram, Facebook, and even phone number is on there. <laughs> oh, nice. So, uh, okay. So, yeah, everyone with you really want to get uh, in touch with Calvin to learn about his work, and also maybe you want to have some collaborations with with him in the future, yeah. Please go to Donut for Life. That is, I, I checked this website out. There's a lot of cool things, so don't miss it. So, thank you so much, everyone. So, I would like to say thank you to uh, to join our conversation today, and then, uh, with you, uh, want to uh, support my channels? Please like, share, and subscribe to your friends. So your support will be very helpful, and then uh, I will. Uh, Going to interview more uh, interesting uh, students and then also share their work. So with your support, that will be very meaningful and encourage me to keep moving forward. So if you have any questions, please uh, please uh, drop your message un- underneath so that I I will I'm going to see it and then also I'm going to respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much, everyone. I would like to say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for having me.